Look, let me tell you something. Be nice. said repeatedly that you think that some of the equipment that governors are requesting they don't actually need you said new york might need I, not, I might not need 30,000 you said it on I sean hannity's on. fox news you said but i have a feeling that uh, a lot of the numbers that are being said in some areas are just bigger than they're going to be i don't believe you need 40,000 or 30,000 ventilators you know why, you don't, why don't you some, people act let, let me ask you, you said why some don't state, you act why don't you act in a little more positive it's always trying to my get question you, to you get is, you get you and you know what? That's why nobody trusts the media anymore. My That's question why to you people, is, how is that going to impact? Excuse me, you didn't hear me. That's why you used to work for The Times, and now you work for somebody else. Look, let me tell you something. Be nice. Don't Mr. be President, threatening. My question Don't is, be threatening. Be nice. Go my ahead. My question is, how is that going to impact how you fill these orders for ventilators or for masks? Your it's not views that they're, they're not, you're not going to, it's not going to impact you at all. We're producing tremendous numbers of ventilators. We're doing a great job on it. Mike Pence, our vice president, has headed up the task force, which has been incredible, the job they've done. We have everybody in the White House working on it. We have everybody in the country is working on this in one way or the other. The fact is, we've done a great job of delivering. You've seen the biggest people in the business. I mean, there's nobody even close to this group of people. We had a meeting at 3 o'clock. It lasted for a long time. It was a great meeting with the generals and with everybody else. And they have done a fantastic job. I'm just saying this. If they're holding — let me give you one example. We sent thousands of generators to New York. They were put into a warehouse, a New York warehouse that happened to be located, interestingly, in Edison, New Jersey. They were given to New York, and we then went to other places, also giving thousands of ventilators. The people in New York never distributed the generators. We said, why didn't you distribute them? Now, you have to understand, they have New York people working in those warehouses. They knew they had them. So we said, why didn't you distribute them? I'm just, I hope they've distributed them now. But maybe they didn't need them so badly. That is incorrect and grossly uninformed. The, uh, the point is, we have ventilators in a stockpile, and we didn't send them to the hospitals yet. Of course we didn't. That's the whole point. The hospitals don't need them yet. The hospitals aren't at their apex. The hospitals have enough ventilators today. But the numbers are going up. We're planning for an apex, a high point, in about 21 days. That's when we need the 30,000 ventilators, not today. Right now, we're putting them in a stockpile. So the point is, well, they're in a stockpile, you must not need them. It's just ignorant. You know, when, when journalists get up, and you're a journalist, a fine journalist, when journalists get up Sean Hannity. and ask questions that are so threatening, I was quoting you directly from team. your interview with Sean Hannity. Take a look at my interview. I don't believe you need 40,000 or 30,000 ventilators.